Hey everybody, it's Ken. I'm back. It's been a while since I've made any chronic illness videos and that's in large part due to the fact that uh, my depression has not been well managed by my meds for several months now. And I'm still trying to find a, a new perfect cocktail. So it's still a work in progress, but it occurred to me that if I only make videos when I feel up to making videos, I'm just as guilty as everybody else with a chronic illness who hides their pain, hides what's happening to them from the world, and then the world gets to ignore us because we're not visible. So in order for me to be a more effective advocate, I realized that I need to put myself out there a little bit more personally and let people see see in to what I deal with because I have suffered with depression for many, many, many years. And the time for hiding it is over. So uh, because of that, some of the videos you'll see in this series are going to be very raw. I'm going to take them on the fly with my smartphone camera at times when I am feeling particularly bad because people need to see what depression can look like. Other videos in the series will be me doing something like this where I'm trying to share some of my tips of things that help me dealing with the things that come up in a depressive cycle. For instance, uh, intrusive thoughts is what I want to talk about today because they have been a really big problem for me over the last six months. I will get a voice in my head that's really mean, that doesn't like me at all, and lets me know just how much of a crappy person I am for hours a day. And sometimes I will wake up with a sad song playing over and over in my head, or I'll have a really sad dream and it just sticks with me for hours and things just go really downhill from there. So meditation helps me when I'm already in a certain frame of mind, but when these negative thoughts or songs or feelings are really strong, I can't get to a good space to meditate. So I need to find something, anything to just kind of pummel that negative voice or those negative thoughts. And I found it. It's a really bad song. <laughs> and, but it works. A, a lot of the time it works. It helps me. So I'm going to share it with you in, in the hopes that it might help someone watching this video. If you get this song stuck in your head and you get angry at me, I, I don't blame you. I understand and I'm sorry in advance. So here it is. How well everybody's heard about the bird. Bird, bird, bird. The bird's a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. The bird is a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. Well, the bird is a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. The bird's a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. Well, the bird is a winner. Well, the bird, bird. The bird's a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. The bird's a winner. Well, the bird, bird, bird. Well, the bird is a winner. Well, the bird. So is this a case where the cure is worse than the disease? Maybe, <laughs> almost, but no, it, it does actually do the trick for me. I get this stuck in my head and there's no room, at least for a while, for the bad stuff. So that's what I'll leave you with today. If you would like to share your tips and tricks of uh, things that help you uh, when you're in the middle of a, a bad depressive cycle, feel free to send them to me, Ken at don'tpunishpain.com, or better yet, share them in the comments below so that other people who see this video can share their ideas. And together we can all share our best practices for how we manage to stay above ground for one more day, right? That's it. I will hopefully see you again soon. Until next time, I'm Ken McKim. You take care.